Okay, this is an amazing story. I'm talking to Jane Ndewa, who is in Delaware, Newark, Delaware, and she submitted some properties. She wasn't able to see them. I'm trying to investigate what's going on. But she also had five foreclosures that we gave her. So Jane, tell me, you said that some people say if you go to somebody's house, they're going to do something to you? Yeah, that somebody will chase me with a gun. Did anybody chase you no, with a gun? <laughs> Yeah. I, I didn't bother to go inside. Hold on a second. Hold on. So, you know, here's the, the, the there are a lot of misinformation out there. You understand? Yeah. And most yeah. people don't understand this business, so they go around with misinformation. When somebody is in foreclosure and they're in trouble, what their first yeah. goal is to save their property. Okay? Yeah. And if they can't save it, you know, then the first person that they feel comfortable with, right, that person somebody who is coming to help them. Correct. You know, somebody's coming to help them. And if you're going there, um, if you're going there with the intent of taking the ad advantage of them, <coughs> excuse me, they're going to reject your efforts. Okay. And so when you knock on the door, let me give you an example. Uh, let's say your house was on fire, right? And the fire department shows up. Are you going to pull out a gun and chase them away? No, I'll, I'll, I'll join them and come out very fast. Correct. Most people that are in foreclosure need the fire department. That's the way it is. We're like the fire department, right? Yes. Because if they, if they had a solution, they would need us. And if they had a solution, they would not be in foreclosure, right? So the fact that they're in foreclosure means they need some help. They need help to resolve their problem. They have a problem. And what, what most investors don't understand, and people who didn't go to um, the, the, the school of uh, GIC, I would say, you know, uh, Magic of Real Estate Academy, is that they have this misconception that, oh, well, they told me go knock on the door, give them a flyer, and then try to buy the house. We don't really try to buy anybody's house that is not interested in selling to us okay yeah. we are interested in buying houses where the homeowner has a problem we can resolve the problem if resolving the problem now leads to us buying the house then we'll do that you understand and sometimes yeah. we go there and we give them a solution and they say well i want to keep my house we give them a solution this is how you can keep your house okay if at some future date you decide to sell the house, give us a call and we'll buy it. For now, you could save your house this way. And if they save the house and we didn't buy the house, that's fine with us. Because there's a lot of houses out there and a lot of properties that people don't want. That's what the ones that we want are the people properties people don't want. Right? So this is not about going to the house to wrestle the house from, from the owner or try to trick them into selling their house or give them all kind of lines so they can uh, sell their house. No, we our intention is to go there and give them a real solution to their problem. The solution is there in foreclosure. We give them alternatives, right? Low modification, they could do a short sale, they could do a wraparound, they could rent the house out, they could bring in renters. The objective is for them to get the money to catch up the loan and then have more money to make the payment. If they can't do all that, then we'll explain to them, well, if you can do all that, instead of losing the house to the bank, we can still get you some money. You understand? Okay. So if you go with the intention of helping the homeowner, you can't lose. You know? So when you went to the house, you should knock on the door. Just, this is what I'll do. I do. I take my flyers. I knock on the door. And I say, hey, my name is Artoyin. I'm in the neighborhood. And I have my flyers with me. And, you know, um, we, we, we have a, a, a serious, serious opportunity for homeowners who might be, you know, uh, looking to sell their properties, okay? Do you know anyone that wants to sell their property? No. Well, by the way, do you plan to sell your property now or in the future? No. Okay, well, here's my flyer. If at any time, you know, you want to sell your property, then let us know. Now, if they engage you after that, say, well, yeah, I'm not thinking about it. My neighbor might be, right? 
you're looking for an opportunity to slip in there, then look, by the way, Mr. Jones, I have a list here that says that, you know, because we get lists through this list through the public uh, um, information, right? And the list says that, you know, when people are in foreclosure, most people don't want to do anything about it. They are ashamed and they don't want to do anything. They don't want to talk to people. And I can understand because he feels like a shame. But guess what, Mr. Jones? This is not a shame. It's not a shameful thing to be in foreclosure. Things happen. Everybody run into financial problems. You understand? Yeah. So your goal is to make them feel comfortable. And I'm not here, Mr. Jones, you know, because you're in trouble. I'm here to offer you genuine solution. You understand? Yeah. And so, you know, I we have several alternatives. Uh, if you want me to come back and discuss that with you, I'll come back. But for now, here's my flyer. If you want me to come back, you give me a call. I'll discuss all these alternatives we have to help you keep your home. Do you want to keep your home, Mr. Jones? Right? Now, they have to answer that question. Is it your intention to keep your home? You say yes or no. If it's their intention, good. Let me come and show, share you with you some alternatives. If they start in their intention, say, oh, no, I don't want to keep it. I want to sell it. Oh, good. We have a solution for that, too. Let's sit down and explore it. Okay? So is is this a this a little information? Is it of any help? Yes. Can you use it? Yeah, I can use it here. Yeah. Okay. Do you want a copy of this video? Yeah. Do you have it? I'm recording it, so I'm gonna send you a copy so you could listen to it again, so you will know what to tell them when you go to these yeah. houses. Okay. So I'm gonna record it. I'm recording it. I'm gonna put it up on the uh, uh, on the tools website for the members so they can hear. Yeah. Okay. You know. And I still need some uh, property leads. Okay. I mean, yes. and, and, and so, we, you know, since you already been to these five houses, I'm going to yes. have them send you more, all right? The reason we're sending you more is because what I notice is that you're interested, you're focused, and you want to do this, okay? So a lot of people ask for properties, uh, leads, but they don't want to do anything. And the other uh, thing I want to tell you, okay, you probably might have heard of our top guy andre right i don't know if you've seen his video I've uh, seen him. okay andre did exactly the same thing you're doing right focused yeah. and dedicated now one other thing i want to tell you is this when you get the leads from us on your way to look at these leads you will run into other properties that are in foreclosure i'm not nicely in foreclosure but they are vacant and abandoned okay yeah. so it gives you opportunity to kill two birds with one stone you understand That's that's what I did when I went the first time I, I saw these other three properties and I went back there. Good, good. That's the way it works. You know, this business is not about like getting rich quick. You know, it's not about, it's about finding people that have problems yeah. and helping them yeah. to resolve their problem. Yeah. A lot of, some of the members think that, well, I'm going to look on the net and throw properties into the, uh, onto the website, you know, and, and let GIC find, uh, do the rest. You know, we're not looking for properties that are listed on Craigslist or Zillow and all those kind of stuff, right? Those properties that are listed are listed by agents, okay? Uh -huh. And the owners are not really motivated. They, they want their price, and we don't want to argue with anybody. You understand? We want yeah. properties where the owner has abandoned it. They don't care about the property. We go in, we resolve their problem, we fix it up, and then we sell it, and you make money. Does that make sense? It does. All right, cool. Like my three, my three are abandoned already. The last ones that I sent. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm gonna have them look at this uh, new ones you submitted. We're gonna uh, act on them this morning, and then you're gonna get your results within the next uh, couple of hours. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. So uh, you know, um, let's make some money together, and I can guarantee you, if you stick with this. You make some money, yeah. okay? I hope I will. All right, I know you okay. will. You know why I know you will? Because Andre, yeah. Andre made money. I've been yeah. doing it for 15, 20 years, and I make money every month. Everybody that yeah. I know that are focused on real estate business make money. The only people that don't make money are those who jump in and jump out, and thinking it doesn't work, right? I One million. I jump in and jump out. I yeah. Want to stick in. Five million homes have sold. Or six million of you know every year in the US all you need is about five or ten of them to make money 
You understand? I do. All right. Okay, Jane, so I'll talk to you later. I'm going to send you this uh, uh, video. Oh, I'm going to put it up on the website, okay? And then you can watch it All in right, the next couple you. of days. All right, take care. I'll watch it, yeah. All right. Okay, so this is amazing toying. Uh, I'm going to show you guys quickly what goes into um, analyzing a property uh, when you submit it. Because sometimes, you know, members don't really know what goes in. Uh, we have to do more work after you submit your property. So, for example, right now, I just spoke to Jane, one of our members, and this is the property she submitted. It's, it's somewhere in Delaware, Newark, right? So I'm going to pull up the property uh, on the title company's website. Okay, so I'll pull up the property so I can see um, what's going on with the property. Okay, so I just signed into my first American title um, company's website. So I'm going to pull up the property that uh, she submitted. And this property is in, um, the, where is it at? Uh, Okay, it's in Newark, Newark, Delaware, right? So, Newark. Okay, that's it right there. Let's search and see what's going on. So, according to Jane, this property, um, <clears throat> according to the her, you know, it says the property is with the sheriffs, right? The place has long grass and stuff like that. So the property might have gone through a sheriff sale. Okay, that's what our member says, Jane. So let's see right here. Well, it's actually not with the sheriff, right? Because if you guys see here, the, it's still with the owner. It has the owner right here, Ronald Whitehead, right? So what do I do? Let me go far and, and look at the report itself. Right now, I'm looking at a profile. This is a, a profile is this is the credit report of a property, right? It's like your credit report. This is the report of this property as to what is going on with the property, what has happened to the property over the last 10 years. And if you don't have this information, you can really analyze the property and make a decision as to what you want to buy, whether you want to buy it. And so the problem that most of these gurus run into is that they teach you all the peripheral, all the surface information about getting a lead, you'll just make an offer, and some software is going to help you make a deal. No, you have to know the guts of the property. So looking here, uh, we know that the property is still in Ronald and Stacy's name, right? Except that they live in a different address. They live in Wilmington, Delaware, um, Newark, Delaware. <coughs> Since I don't know, I don't live in Newark, I don't know how far that is. That tells me right there that these people are either abandon the house, it's an absentee owner, they don't care about the house, right? And we will know if we go further here, well, if you notice, they bought the property in 2006, right? And if I look here, I will see part of their financial instrument. Okay, so this is the mortgage information with which they bought the property. Okay, for those of you who don't know what a mortgage is, a mortgage is like a security that is used to secure a property. When you get a loan on a property, the bank comes in and put a mortgage on it. In other words, if you don't make the payment, they can foreclose on that mortgage, um, which is different from <coughs> excuse me, holding title, I mean, having title to the property. So in this case, you know, a lender, lender is a federal savings bank. It's one of, this is one of those, uh, you know, it says right here, virtual bank, right? So let's just look at who signed this on this date, right? The people that signed the deed will probably be the same people that we're looking at right now. Okay, Diane Whitehead, right? Diane E. Whitehead, right? Who else? Okay, so in, in 2006, right? So let me save this just for our own purposes or okay so let's look at this uh you know and see what's going on now usually there, there are three parties to to a mortgage instrument right you have the lender right, right? 
you have the beneficiary, right, who is the borrower. I mean, excuse me, uh, the lender is the beneficiary of the note, right? Then you have the borrower and you have a third party that is called the trustee. And if you look at the lang language right here, it's usually at the top, right? Um, it says borrower, Diane Whitehead, right? Borrowed money from this bank, virtual bank, right? And virtual bank now gave authority to uh, a trustee to foreclose on the property if Diane Whitehead doesn't pay, okay? That's the way it's usually worded. They, so they, they, those, that, they, those are the three parties. So it says security instrument, as I stated. Um, okay, these are the definitions. Let's go to where the information kind of started. Uh, somehow this, um, this mortgage instrument is not clear in in california it's more clear you can see all the three people right there you have security instrument right you have the borrower so i'm just looking for the trustee where they put it So I know it's buried in here somewhere as to who has the right to foreclose. But whoever has the right to foreclose, they can foreclose on the mortgage instrument. That's all I want to point out. But the, the, the thing is this. Diane signed this mortgage instrument, right? But if you look in here, right, I, I don't see Diane here. You know, the owners are Whitehill, Ronald, and Stacy. So it's possible that Diane bought the property, right? got the loan and then transferred it to her children or she got the loan on their in, uh, on their behalf so at some point he must have transferred title to them um and that instrument should be here somewhere did transfer you see right there uh, okay did transfer so it says right here diane whitehead who got the mortgage instrument now transferred uh, this deed between Diane Whitehead, Stacy Whitehead, parties of the first part, grantor, and Diane Whitehead, parties of the second part, grantee, right? So at some point, you know, Diane Whitehead transferred the property to, to Stacy, right? But if you notice, you know, for only $10, so it's a transfer between parents or sisters, whoever, right? But the other guy's name, let me say this also, okay? The other guy's name um, that is also on this property is not in there. Ronald is not in there. So it was now Tracy that probably transferred the property to Donald. And that information is buried somewhere uh, in the title information. When we pull a prelim, which is a completely different information <clears throat> than a profile, a profile is just like a quick um uh, information on on what's going on with the property a prelim goes deep as to what is in there what's in the guts you know the, what's in the heart the bloodstream all those kind of stuff it's like it's like doing a uh, um, uh, you know a dissection of, of a you know person that passed away that's really what it is you, you go in and you look deep right and there's another instrument here in 2005 let's see what's what's in here Okay, so Diane Whitehead and Stacy were borrowers in 2005, right? They, this this 2005 note was paid, uh, mortgage was paid off in 2006 because they must have refinanced in 2006, right? So the thing that I'm going to tell uh, Jane, who submitted this property, is that I'm going to tell her that look, the owner lives here, and this is how the, these are the things that we try to point out to you when we updated your reports, right? So I'm telling Jane now that. The owner of this property is not the sheriff, right? Okay. The owner lives here. Owner, this is owner's address, right? So when Jane goes back, um, 
So it's a Diane Whitehead. When Jane goes, when Jane goes bad, right? Um, then she will notice that you know we've updated it. Diane and Ronald Whitehead are the owners. Diane and Ronald. Right here. Okay, so so I now put a, uh, the information here. They live in Wilmington. Delaware. So uh, I'm, I'm going to update the same information for Jane. So when Jane goes back to look at her uh, profile and check on the property she submitted, she will find this information that I put there. Okay. That says, sir. Uh, is owned by Jane. I mean, not Jane, by Ronald and Diane Whitehead. This is their current address, right? So now, you know, Jane comes back, looks at this, right? This is the current address of the owner, okay? Now, having gotten that information, this is what I do. And you guys may, may not know this, even though I'm the founder of this company, I get my own deals. I still do my own deals. So now that I know that this is the owner, this is where he lives, guess what? I could send them a letter, okay? You know, so I would now send a letter to this address because this is, this is owner, this is what they call absentee landlord. In, so, in this case, these people are not landlords because according to the photos that Jane submitted here, um, the property is in bad shape, looks like it. Okay, it says sheriff sale. Now, it, one of the thing, mistakes that Jane made is this, and I'm gonna call her right now so we can go over this. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if she can actually share my, 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 my desktop, right? So I'm calling one of our students right now. I'm calling her back on this Hello? deal. Hi Jane? Yes. Okay. Um I'm still recording this, you know, or the, the, the video. I continue recording it so I can share more information, okay? So this is what I found on the property you submitted on um my vista right yes okay um you when you went there you took pictures correct i did take the pictures yes okay so i see one of the pictures you took has a sheriff's sale on it right it's uh, on the on the on the door there's a sheriff's sale okay uh, so next time you take a picture like that make sure you take it to where we can see a phone number oh. An address. Oh, do, you, do you want me to go back there and uh, get the, the address? Yes, I want you to go back there. The reason is very simple. Are you at yes. your com Are you at your computer? Yes. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. I want yes. you to go to um. Hold on. Okay. Let me open it up first. So I want you to go to www.joinme. Um, hold on, hold on. I've got to look for a pen. I can text it to you. Well, wow. yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, look okay. for. Uh, uh, let, okay, let me text it to you to your phone, right? So you could see it okay. on your phone. Okay. Um, hold on. So you want the anything with the. Close quarters. Well, hold on, yeah. hold on a second. Um, can you access your phone while you're on? The, uh, while you're, uh, can you access your text while you're on the phone? Uh, Let me email it to you, or, or just write it down. Write it down. It's very simple. Yeah. You know. So write it down. It's www dot. Yeah. Join J O I N. 
dot m e me forward yeah. forward slash yeah. amazing toying a m a z i n g toying like my name yeah okay yeah okay so type that into your into your um computer address book and you will see my computer this is amazing Tony talking to one of our, our members Jane and Jane submitted some properties now she can see my screen what I just want to demonstrate you know is what I've been talking about earlier so Jane if you look at this property when you submitted it these are your pictures right yeah. you could see your pictures right uh -huh. okay now one of the things that I normally do is this when I see a picture with a sign on it right see like this sign Okay, well, I need to dig further into this information. Okay. Okay, and so if you don't give us this information, um, you know, it's a little bit harder for us to dig further, right? Even though it's public information, we have to spend several hours to dig and find it, right? But it's a lot quicker. Okay. Since you were there, you take the picture, make sure you, you focus your camera on where we can see the phone number, or, or if you can, get the phone number, just write it down so that when you update, and you submit the information right you could add it yeah. here okay you know okay. now one of the things that I've done earlier is that when I left the phone when I left you earlier is I pull up the property through our the uh, title company website okay yeah. so uh -huh. this is the profile of the property a profile is like the credit report okay of the uh -huh. property now if you notice on this profile it says owners, right? Yeah. Okay. And who are the owners? Can you uh, read it? Whitehead. Yeah. Good, Whitehead. Hold on a second. Um, so as you were saying, this um these people, this property is owned by the Whiteheads, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, there's a sheriff information there. So which means they're in some kind of foreclosure, right? Yeah. But if you look here, it says their mailing address. Can you read that? Pennington in, in in Wilmington, right? How far is Wilmington from um? Uh, it's like ten minutes drive. Oh, okay, good. So if it's ten minutes drive, you know my phone, my uh. So if it's ten minutes drive from Wilmington to Newark, right? You know what I normally do, right? At the time you found this information, you didn't know that. But if you looked. On that sheriff's mm. paper, it's possible yeah. that this information might have been there. Oh yeah. Right? Okay. If I knew, if I knew what I'm knowing, right? Correct. Now. Exactly. You know, so I'm doing this for the benefit of other members and you also. So now that you know, okay, mm. I I updated your information here. I updated it, right? If you notice here, I put the address, yeah. right? And I said that this is the new owner. I mean, this is the owners, right? It's not with the sheriff, okay? And so when once I'm done and I update this, right? So I'm going to update this to pending. Pending means that we're, we're looking at it, we're trying to find the owner. You know, what I want people to understand is that we cannot make a deal until we connect with the owner. With yeah. the owner. Correct, okay? So if we never connect with the owner, this property is going to remain in pending until we yeah. just, take, you know, close it, close it, right? Or we reject it. Okay. You understand okay so at the moment I save these changes right yeah. you're gonna get an email okay okay you know and the email is gonna tell you we've updated your information you will go back and you look at it and you will see that we got the new address of the owner right yeah. so since yeah. we got the address of the owner you know what I want you to do is you will now go to the owner's house mm -hmm. okay you just drive there knock on the door Correct. Yeah. And say, hey, you know, my name is Jane. I'm, you know, uh, is, does Stacy look he, live here? Or, uh, when you say, well, don't even ask. Say, you know, is Stacy here? Or is Ronald here? Just try to go when you know there's somebody who will be home, right? Yeah. And they say, well, who are you? My name is Jane. I'm here about your property on Newark. Uh -huh. Right? I know this is abandoned. What do you guys want to do with it? Because we help people that have properties that are in problems, that are, you know, that needs help, 
what what do you guys plan to do with it right they say oh well you know we don't want to do anything with it or we you know we just want to sell it you know but okay what mr jones what we could do is this you know instead of letting it go to the sheriff right we could help you find a solution to where you can make some money because if we buy it from you we could give you some money and then we'll we'll, we'll um I'll work with your lender okay would you like to do that if they say yes okay good so here can i take your phone number and i'm gonna have my um partner my boss or you know uh our buyer call you okay so that information now you put it back on the website right that you talk to the owner and this is what they want to do here's their phone number and you send me a text and say this property is hot because now the property becomes hot because you've now connected with the owner Does that make sense? It does. Okay. So that's how this wheel turns. That's how the process works. Okay. And every property we get, we have to put through this process to determine if there's anything for that to do with it. Now, what most people do is this. They will send a letter to this person. They will send a letter here, right? Let's say this, these people were 100 miles away. Obviously, you can't go to the house. Okay. Yeah. So in that case, you just go to the website, right? You go to your, you go to your um, information. Let me see mine. Uh, I don't know if if mine is still up, right? So you go to your to the website. You download under the tools, right? You know how to do that, right? You download the flyer. You print the flyer, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So when you go to see them, make sure you take the flyer with you. But if you can get there and they're 100 miles away, you just mail the flyer to them, okay? The reason I want you to go there is that if you mail them a flyer right now, you cannot guarantee that they're going to call you back. You understand? Yeah. But when you are confronting them and you are at their house, you will know for sure what they're going to do with the house. Yeah. And knowing for sure helps you to move on, okay? So it will tell you, well, I talk to them, they're not interested, you move on to the next property. You don't waste your time trying to imagine, wait, hope that maybe something is going to happen. You went to the house, they said they're not interested, and you moved on. That's it. Hold on one second, hold on. Has this thing become a little bit more clearer to you now? Yeah, it's a, it's a bit clearer right now. Okay. So I'm going to put up this video and have everybody watch it, right? So they can be a little bit clearer, just like you, okay? You know, so the, so the, the, the process that I went through right now, you know, to find the owner, right? You guys don't have access to it, okay? Some people that are in my higher level training have access, right? But in your case, you don't have access. And so we do the work for you. And if, when we do the work, now, after we have done this, we connect with the owner, right? Well, we still have to negotiate with the owner, right? And if the owner agrees to sell to us, we now have to go back to the bank. You understand? These people owe they owe one hundred eighty-two thousand dollars on this property, yeah. right? When they bought it, okay. Yeah. But this loan is not even in their name. The loan is in their mom's name or their aunt or whoever. If you notice here, is Diane Whitehead, right? Well, Diane Whitehead is the one that took out the loan. But guess who is here? Stacy. See the difference? Okay. Those are complications. Those are hurdles that we have to overcome until we get to a deal. So most people think once they submit a property, the next thing is uh, we're just going to go there, get a deal, send them a check. It doesn't happen that way. So these things take a lot of legwork. But the result, the end result, when we succeed, is very lucrative because all you really want or focus on is if you get what I mean are you you're working now right you you have a job right yeah I was part-time part-time okay so do you know in this country if you make sixty thousand dollars right you are probably in the top 40 percent you understand yeah. okay if you make hundred thousand you're in the top three percent depending on where you live okay mm -hmm. You know, so all you need to do is focus on trying to get one deal a month. If you get one deal a month at five thousand dollars, even though if the five thousand dollars or the one deal a month is not going to happen in one month, let's say it starts to happen in month three. That's what happened to Andre. Andre didn't get his first deal until about four or five months. Yeah. 
But after that, he got one deal every month because he put a lot of properties in the pipeline. Yeah. Okay. The problem most people run into, they don't want to do the work for the first three or four or five months to put to stop their pipeline. You understand? Yeah. Okay. So I hope you are going to be able to do that. I hope you stick with it. Um, and I'm proof that it works. Andre is proof that it works. And if you stick with it, the only thing you will get is success. Okay? Okay, I'll do that. All right, Jane. It's nice talking to you. And I'll post this uh, video, right, online. And and, and so uh, for other members that are watching this, if you have questions, just, you know, email me um, at GICDealFinders.com. Uh, dot com. Just go to your website. You could email me there. Admin at admin at GIC Deal Finders, or you could email my um, direct mail, Amazing Toying at Gmail. I don't use that that much, so you're better off just emailing me from the website, admin at GIC Deal Finders, or click on the support, and I will answer the questions that you might have. Okay, because I know a lot of people have a question as to how, you know, all, all the other wheels. Okay, but for now, you just want to focus on getting leads. Okay, and then let us worry about making the deal. You understand? Okay. All right. So nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Bye bye. Okay, so this be an amazing toy talking to one of our members, and you know, hopefully, if you're watching this video, and you're not a member, you're probably better off, you know, joining, and then you get access to all this uh, information. Okay, so this is amazing twin. You know, um, you could reach me here. So if you remember watching this, you know, you could um, just log in, and once you log in, you will be able to send me a support ticket here, right? And you could just send your email direct to um, admin at gic uh, dealfinders dot com, um. Or just email us you know inside your login because once you log in you'll be able to do that anyway this is amazing toy i'm going to sign off and i hope this video is useful and it clears a lot of stuff for other members all right see you guys see you at the top and if you're watching this video like i said and you're not a member you should think about joining uh, becoming gic deal finders uh, we have a lot of free information for you money strategies real estate investment real estate lease strategies uh, women in real estate is quite a bunch um, we have several training resources out there once you join and here's our email right here admin at gic deal right now Maureen. yeah we yeah we can okay um so that was another member that just called i i'm not i can't see much because i didn't log in but i'm gonna log in into my account so you guys can see as a member all the things that you will be able to get access to um, you know if you're not a member you can't get this far but on the tools you could see some the flyer I was talking about earlier right you will be able to download a flyer like this take it with you when you go to see um, somebody in foreclosure when you download the flyer your number will show up not my number this is my number right here um, let's close this then here's a flyer another flyer All right uh, this one has a number also your number will show up not my number uh, you have a lot of FAQ that we've answered in the past and so people have questions but they never went through all these FAQs you understand if you go through all these FAQs you see a lot of the questions that you might have had with we probably answered in the past um, Then uh, you have a blog. In order to get to some of this, you have to sign up, right? To get to the blog. Um, here you have your submitted property, rejected property, uh, property leads. Uh, I think our forum is being installed right now. Uh, you know, so we don't have our forum up yet. So all those things are available to you. Just watch the video. If you have questions, just contact us. All right. So this amazing toy, see you at the top. And I hope you make a lot of money in real estate. And the only way to do that is by focusing and getting with people that know. All right. See you guys. Bye.